Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years. Hi, I'm Cherry Johnson with Watauga County Arts Council, and I hope you already know that we are doing workshops, lots and lots of different workshops. We're doing music, we're doing uh, fine art, we're doing a business of art series, and we're doing one that I would class more in the area of maybe of crafts. Um, Arts and crafts. Arts and crafts, uh, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is Josie Bortz. Yes. And Josie came to me recently with some proposals for some workshops, which we were really enjoying. And she did a demo at one of our, um, I think it was the September Sep um, yeah. uh, Second Saturday celebration, which is one of the things you get to do when you come to a Second Saturday is you get to see someone doing an art form. It's really cool. So anyway, Josie is doing, uh, what she has in front of us is one about a workshop that's going to be coming up on very quick, on October the 7th. Right. And so we want to make sure that people can get in on this. Uh, Josie, uh, this is a four-session workshop on Tuesdays. Exactly. If they could not make one of them, maybe the first one, could they jump in? Oh, to yes. The workshop? Yeah, okay. yeah, they can. They are, obviously, some of them, they have some skills. To, right, to right. Painting, uh -huh. watercolor, oil painting. So it will be easy for them. Okay. So it's not something that you no, couldn't. No. If right. you missed the first one, it's okay. It's Let okay. us know. Come on. Right. Now. Okay. Right. All right, so this one is painting talavera tiles. Now, I've got to ask first, what's a talavera tile? Talavera tile is originally is from Puebla, Mexico. Mm -hmm. And then it's brought from Spain. Really? Yes. And then up to the conquest, obviously, they uh -huh. told right. how to paint those tiles. And it's been a traditional uh, oil painting on, I'm sorry, talavera in Puebla. Now, where do you get a talavera tile? In, in in Puebla, they are okay. big business. Can of you buy them in the United States? Oh, yes, you can. But you it's can, not. But it's, it's not. not the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is not like your standard ceramic no. tile. No. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm curious. Yeah. What uh, what is the finish like? What is that? Is that a glaze? It's it's a glaze, but uh, it could be you can do it after it's uh, baked. Okay. You can do it also. Okay. You can All right. do. You can do many, many ways with the tiles because it's, uh, it's very gentle. It's That's very easy to work with it. Okay. And we've seen uh, lots of folks, especially over a stove, will have an accent on their backsplash and it'll have a painted tile accent. And that's the kind of thing we're talking about. Right. Is, is where that you do it on those tiles and then you can do what you want with the tiles. Exactly, yeah. mm -hmm. yes. So I could also see them being like a hot plate, yes. you know, that you could put something, a hot pot. Oh, yes, to, like, yeah. a, it, like a, this one mm -hmm. has a protection in the back. Oh, that's you smart. You see? The cork. Mm -hmm. Right, the yeah. cork. So now, I noticed something too about this is, is these almost look like they were done by two different people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, that's what they, they say. Oh, your paintings are not the same. Right. Uh, artists. Uh, oh, so you did both yeah, of them, oh, I, I do. Yeah. I do. And the cool thing about now you you'll have trouble seeing this up close, but uh, but at any rate, this one has a whole lot of tiny little details on it uh, and outlines and that kind of thing. This one is much more what I'd call loosey goosey. You know, yes, yeah, <laughs> because that requires more time. Exactly, more mm -hmm, more time. Mm -hmm. And this one is easy to to right whatever you desire in that moment. To yeah, do. and then you can also get super free with your designs and exactly. do things like these. Which I'm imagining these probably would be in a similar place or right. combined in some That's fashion. right. Yeah. That's right. So now um, let's talk about this. There's a certain kind of paint that you're using. Yes, it's um, like a watercolor paint, uh -huh. but it's uh, specifically for ceramic. Right. It's not your ordinary right. watercolor. It's, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it, it works like a watercolor. It, that's an easy. So it easy. feels like watercolor when it you paint it. Feels like it. A, mm -hmm. Yeah. But once you bake it. There is no way you can erase or you can take it off. Uh huh. So it, it, it's permanent. Okay. So you can, if you are building your house or mm -hmm. you're planning to build the house, you can mm, do murals maybe. Oh, really? At yeah. the kitchen or uh -huh. the bathroom. Yes, it will be very personal, very nice. And permanent and sturdy. Permanent, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, I noticed these two right here are very traditional in design. I'm afraid I'm going to knock that plate over. Uh, they have a very, very traditional design uh, right. on them, right. and it's very dark. It is very dark because you, you, pl you, first of all, you put layers as much as you mm -hmm. desire the mm -hmm. color, and then you put it. Uh, the rule is twenty minutes in the oven, but if you want darker, 
you leave it longer. You leave it longer. Okay. Uh, the darker you want, the longer you have so to So part of the in. art is planning your design. Part of the art is, is applying the paint. And part of the art is cleaning it up. And then part of the art is knowing how long to put it in the oven. Exactly. <laughs> that's the, that's the, the key. That's uh -huh. the key for the colors. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. And we have an oven at Art Space. And I told that, uh, Josie that if there's time, they certainly could bake them. I mean, bake them at the uh, art space if we need to do that. Right. But uh, or you, I guess they could take it home and bake it. You know. Oh yes, yeah. they mm -hmm. can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you've painted it and it's not been baked yet, how fragile is the paint? It's very hard to okay. take it off. It's, okay. It's a very nice. It's fragile when you don't. You still don't open it. Right. Okay. It's still fragile okay. because it. Uh, some water drops or uh, some drops of water you can get it up oh yes mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. now i'm curious about this plate how is it done uh, is it what is it off oh this is a stems like i have it one right here uh -huh. and i'm going to show you how oh. to do and they just place it and again the the finish it it has to be very clean uh-huh in order to show up the the lines of right the, design right. that you want and this is a china plate yeah okay. you can you can use any any um, object that's bakeable that, yeah mm -hmm. yes then okay. you can yeah you okay. can want to show me how to do this yeah i'm going to do it uh, the same thing that i did uh, over there and i'm going to use uh, colors it's not necessary well if you want to do one color go ahead and do it but if you want to do several colors it's okay like i did in the other one uh -huh. And but uh, I'm going to use right now one color, and we will see what it uh, looks like. And it's easy in this case because uh, you can use very. I I like to start light, uh -huh. and it depends if I need more more painting. I go back mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. do my more painting. So I'm going to do very light right here. Okay. And oh, now that's a foamy kind of a. a exactly. Silver. This is this is nice. And you're adding and a little more color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can add some color wherever you. Again, it's a test of the artist. Right. That wants to. Cool. Yeah. So let's see how it comes up in this case. Okay. Okay. Just. A little kid, uh huh, and just press it. Obviously, all it doesn't come out the way you want. Just go back with it. Ah, oh, okay, very yeah. easy. Yeah, wow. just just go back with your painting and you then see? add what you want to add. Uh -huh. add the, yeah, uh -huh. you can add. Oh, you can add another color. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. no, it's not limited. Really, you yeah, can cool. you mm -hmm. can add, for instance, uh, um, yellow. I want mm -hmm. yellow, so I'm going to clean up my brush right. and go ahead and start with the yellow. So, so you're cleaning the brush with a hand wipe, right? Mm -hmm. But in this case, I'm going to use another brush, a small brush, because I want yellow in mm -hmm. some areas. I don't want yellow in, in other areas. So I'm going to put some yellow here. Yes. And to some degree, the green and the yellow are blending. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. this, is, uh, uh, this is the nice thing in, in, in this media of art. So you see? So you just keep adding whatever you want to add. Right. You, mm -hmm. you go ahead and Okay, now in this free. workshop, we're going to be doing four sessions. And it's a sixty-five dollars for, the, and materials are included, which is a big exactly. deal. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then you're going to uh, the the sessions are on Tuesday, starting October the seventh, and from eleven to one. So that's basically two hours. Right. Kind of like a long lunch break. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, you're going to paint your tiles. Now, how many tiles do you think that it's likely? Of course, it'll vary from student to student, but that they probably will do. Well, um, I would say. Four, at the okay, most. Yeah. approximately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. four. Mm -hmm. Okay, depending on how detailed you are. Exactly. You, yeah. yeah, that takes longer. Yeah, this that one takes obviously longer. took a yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> and, and different brushes and different right. things. So mm -hmm. it takes really yeah, long. Those tedious. two takes uh -huh. longer. Right. Yeah. 
But if you want something quick like this, yeah. Yeah. You can and do more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can do so, more. Yeah. Okay. Well, Josie, I think this is going to be a fun workshop. It is fun. And so what you need to do. I guarantee you. Yeah. Oh. What you need to do is to sign up. Because if you don't sign up, then you can't be part of it. If you happen to miss one, Josie says you can still join in. Uh, October 7th will be the first one, and they'll go every Tuesday uh, for, through the 28th of October. And you also have been doing some other workshops. Um, we've got a pastels workshop that will have right. already started by the time that people see this. And that is uh, oil and chalk pastels. That's also one that you can jump in on. Uh, the Oil and Chalk Pastels Workshop uh, is starting on Saturday, October the 4th, but it's going through the 25th. Right. And it's from 1.30 to 3.30 on Saturday afternoon. And right. And it's also $65, but that includes everything. Exactly. Right. So that's, you know, a lot of workshops you have a maybe a $25, $35, $50, dollars whatever fee, and then you've got a materials fee, which does happen in many workshops. But in Josie's, she's combined it into one right. thing to exactly. reduce the confusion. Right. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and then another workshop that we're hoping to schedule again is the polymer clay mask. Exactly. Which yes, is another a whole one. different ballgame. <laughs> yeah, another view. What else do you do, Josie? I do watercolor oil painting um, uh, airbrush. Wow, really? Yeah. really? Airbrush. That's Ceramic. Uh -huh. I know we, we mm -hmm. it's delightful to do all That's those good. media. Well, but, uh, tell yeah. me about Josie. Where where are you from? How did you end up in Boone? Why did you end up doing art? Well, I'm from Mexico City, the biggest city in the world. Uh-huh. And um, and I start my grandfather was a colleague of uh, Diego Rivera and Orozco uh -huh. and um, uh, Siqueiros. So I, w I have it in my blood, the art. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, I came here to Boone because my husband teaches at the university and at the history department. Okay. He's a, he's a Jeffrey Bors. We met in Mexico right. City. He uh -huh. brought me here. And oh, I'm nice. delightful <laughs> to be here. <laughs> it's a nice town. And you've been painting all of your life or doing uh, yes, art all of your life? Since uh -huh. I was five years old, painting my, my, my parents' home. Worlds right. all over. And you know how kids are. You know, are. you're bringing your heritage with it because the Talavera tiles clearly is from your heritage. You exactly. Know, and and yeah. I think the masks also speak to that. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And so, absolutely. And yeah. pastels are kind of universal. Everybody does pastels oh, yes. in all parts of the world. But I've got a feeling that your pastels kind of have a. Oh, a yeah. Flair, a Josie Flair tool. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yes. I think these are going to be so much fun. I'm so excited that you're going to be part of our workshop series. Now we're doing a fall series and then we will be releasing a spring series of information. Probably I'm hoping to release that right after Thanksgiving, somewhere around that time. Uh, to give you the information so you can go ahead and sign up. And you know what? These would make great Christmas gifts. Wouldn't it be wonderful to get open up a package oh and my there's a gosh, gift yes. certificate that says or either something someone has made or a gift certificate that says you can go take this workshop and I'm paying for it, you know. And so therefore you could that will be beautiful. Uh -huh. I, but as a matter of fact, I'm going to do a wedding gift for my friend, my oh, best cool. friend. So I'm going to start a very nice style for Well, this is the right season for that. Exactly. And you know, this one, as we said, has cork on the back. So this by itself could be a great gift. You right. Know, I've hand painted this tile for you and it's ready to use as a, uh, what do they call them, a trivet, uh, you know, to, to right. protect your table from hot things, oh, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah, that's you know? right. Yeah. So, so this would make great gifts. In other words, you can make maybe four great gifts for your $65 and learn the art form in the uh, mix and have a great time. Yeah, so wonderful. I'm excited about all this. Yeah, thank you, Sherry. Thank you. And be sure you check our website, wataga-arts.org. If you're interested in workshops, there's a link on the very front of she page of the, work, uh, of the website, but there's also a heading named workshops, and you can find a lot of information there, registration information there, and you can always call us at 264-1789, and we'll be more than happy to sign you right up. Uh, look forward to seeing you really soon at the Blue Ridge Art Space. Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years.